All right, so today we have my first video on a new series I want to do called the Lost Gems of the Battle Realm. So basically, I'm just going to go over some champions that were considered one of the best of their classes for like a very long time, but in 2023 aren't really like at that point anymore. And I feel like the best champion for that like to start off with is medusa because medusa used to be the queen of the cosmic class right she was so powerful she was so like wanted by everyone if you like and now these days she's still pretty good in my opinion but her values definitely like drop off a little bit but i still feel like she has her uses for sure and she's still all around a very solid character so yeah let's just talk about medusa for a little bit um i'm starting off some battlegrounds gameplay because i feel like battlegrounds you know is pretty relevant like at this point of the game and if you're a good Battlegrounds character, then you're pretty good overall, I feel like. But yeah, um, also know about this Warlock fight. I started with the fight like at 141 for the fight time. So this is like about a 40 second fight in total, which isn't bad at all for sure. Um, that is like her best matchup though, to be fair. So yeah, uh, but yeah, Medusa, she's always been like the robot killer, right? She was the original one. Of course, there is like Vision Arcus and Magneto now. Magneto, obviously like the big one. Um, but there's some cases of where I feel like Medusa is like a bit better overall than like, you know, Arcus and Magneto. But besides that, she's still a very good armor break character. Like she has access to it very very easily you see one medium attack and then it's there for like the whole entire fight pretty much um she's also a very like decent bleed character because she has permanent bleeds so if there's like a note that like like let's say bleed vulnerability right she's very good for that because she has like a permanent bleed so yeah there's just like she still has her uses for sure she still has some like cool like mechanics that she can do um however i feel like of course she's kind of fallen off in the cosmic class a little bit because you know the cosmic class is just absolutely stacked and it's so hard to compete in it these days because there's just so many like insane cosmic characters right like there's Galen, there's hulkling there's hercules i'm gonna i'm gonna say it early man there's adam warlock who looks literally busted i cannot wait for him to come out like there's a lot of insane cosmic characters and i feel like medusa still is a pretty decent character but in comparison to the top cosmic characters she definitely does fall off a little bit uh that Killmonger fight wasn't too shabby at all. He does have crit resistance, so that kind of just like makes her damage a lot less, but it was still pretty decent, right? And now we have Grandmaster's Gauntlet, and this is, I feel like, a good showing of just her ability to shut off robots, right? You just drop an SP1, and then that's about it. It's just it's just done there. It's very easy to access, it's a very fun time, and you just get to like not worry about anything at all. Like you just have the whole fight in control now. You can just, you know, intercept, pair, whatever you want. Like, you can just play safe and you play kind of risky. It's, like, all up to you. And you have, like, the uh, living strands fail safe, too, if you do mess up. So, yeah, it's just a very cool time overall. And also, her, like, damage output against robots is pretty good, except for one situation, and that's Nimrod. Nimrod is just so dang annoying with, like, his arm break reduction. It is, it, is, it makes no sense. They're like, why do that for a tech champion? I feel like that's the, the whole point of a tech character is to just get armor broken and get destroyed, right? But no, him, he just, like... He doesn't care about that and it's so annoying but yeah besides that she's a very good robot counter um like even magneto sucks versus nimrod though to be fair so like i guess just every robot counter is bad against nimrod and she's probably like, the best of the three for nimrod actually maybe vision arcus might be like a little bit better because he has the cold snap who knows right i mean of course you can tell easily just being a comparison but anyways She's just, like, wiping this fight completely. Also, we're not even having, like, the bleed on him, and we're still doing perfectly fine. Like, she gets a really nice source of damage from her bleed, and even without it, she still does some pretty nice, like, yellow numbers. Um, also, I'm not running any synergies in this fight either, so that's also a big thing to notice, because her inhuman royal trinity is very, very good. Um, the characters beside her aren't as good, of course. Like, you know, Karnak got buffed. He's... I don't know, man. He's 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 there. He's Karnak, you know. He's just he's just chilling. Black Bolt does need a lot of investment to be decent, and even then, he has like no utility. So yeah, uh, it is what it is with those two. Um, this fight also no synergies. If I did have synergies here, it'd be a much easier fight. But this is the Gimme Shelter node. Basically, like they have a chance to auto block, but it decreases every time you get a buff, and it like caps out at like four buffs. You just completely like shut it off. And Medusa has three buffs at base, right? But then we get the aptitude from the node, and then you just can shut off the node completely. And I like that with Medusa. I like that she has like access to buffs, right? You know, Cosmic Class. It's very like comments have buffs right but there are some like rare occasions like you know Noel who doesn't have any buffs besides like the the two that he gets for like one second after true and corruption if he's awakened uh but yeah it's nice to always have buffs right but i feel like these days 
you kind of want unique buffs more than just like stackable buffs and that's kind of where medusa also falls up a little bit there like i want to do this one node for the gameplay video and i just really couldn't do it because it wanted unique buffs right and not just like regular buffs so yeah that's a bit unfortunate but even then she's still like fine for the most part with like cosmic nodes because you know even just having one buff is good enough for the most part and now we have this uh omega sentinel fight and she is a robot so it should be going pretty smoothly overall um Medusa is just a very good Omega Sentinel counter because one, Omega Sentinel has like armor ups, right? But it just gets countered immediately by Medusa's medium attack. And also she is a robot. So once we armor shatter her, she just does nothing. And yeah, it's a pretty cool time overall. Uh, there was like a part of the note where like she goes armor breaking me for a little bit, but we disabled the weapon. So, you know, we can armor break her again. Then we can drop the SP1 and then it's just a pretty chill time overall. So yeah, it's just, she has a lot of fun versus robots. I know like there's Magneto, of course, and you know, yeah, he's just... He's insane, obviously, but Medusa's still fun. She's not the best option for most things, but she's a very fun option for most things, I feel like, and that's all that matters, man. If you have fun with the character, that's great, right? She's a very fun champion to play with, and I'm glad that people still enjoy her to this day. I know Cat Murdoch absolutely loves Medusa. I know there's like a lot of Medusa fans out there still, and rightfully so, she's a very fun champion to play. Now we have this war machine on the note that I was talking about. I was saying like you want unique buffs for this note and it's true because you get more chances to trigger the vigilance with unique buffs, not just like stackable buffs, right? So yeah, like, you know, Galen, Hulkling, Gore, they're probably better for this overall, but Medusa can still work for it. It's just like a less safe fight, but it's still a pretty fun time overall because, you know, she just like, she gets so many like furies from this note if you like play it properly it's just a very fun time but like that goes for any cosmic to be fair but it's just medusa man medusa is just a ton of fun to play with and yeah i just enjoy the character a ton uh she was my she wasn't like one of my first rank threes unfortunately but i think she was one of the first characters to get a generic gem for me and it just felt good because like she was one of my first ever five star rank four so yeah that was just that was way back man that's insane like she was one of my first to like be ranked up that's so crazy to think about and now like she isn't even rank four as a six star she might be like you know when the day comes i want to do some other cosmic characters first of course but she's still a very fun champion to play and i do enjoy the character still so yeah maybe in the future i will take her up to rank four but for now i'll just enjoy at rank three um but yeah who knows man who knows and now we have this node which is uh stacking power which honestly she's she's really really good for because her living strands counts as like you know gaining a buff right so you can just stack up a lot of power via that and if you bring your synergies and you can just stack up like even more fury buffs you get up to six which is pretty dang nice and you also get some increased attack rating too at base which is pretty cool but yeah, this fight's going pretty well. Um, fun fact, Guardian, when he's awakened in Max Sig, has some increased bleed res whenever he has an armor up buff, right? But Medusa has armor shatter, so like he'll never get an armor up buff in the entire fight, which is pretty cool. So we can just bleed him fine. So we're gonna go for this P2 here, and it's gonna be very, very nice. Um, her bleed damage on this P2 is very, very fun. I am not running deep wounds, so keep that in mind. So that's like a massive damage loss for the character. I, I need to get deep wounds, man. I need to get like a uh, five out of five. I only have three out of five right now. And I just took full man to rank five and he really wants deep wounds for like maximum damage output. So yeah, I should definitely get that for sure. Uh, but yeah, this is still going pretty well though. Going very, very well. Like Medusa is just very solid for this lane, I feel like. So yeah, it's just a pretty fun time. And overall, Medusa is just a very fun time. Like, you know, she's just a very fun champion. And yeah, um, this is me from the future, I guess. I I recorded that uh, voiceover like yesterday. It is now a different day. And I added these two fights to the like showcase here because I feel like it just didn't have enough, right? So I added two bosses in 8.2. We have the Scarlet Witch boss who is um a bit weird. She is like a... She's a mystic character, right? But you want to use cosmics for the fight because there is like this note where like she fate seals you, right? And you get immunity to it. So like if you have a fate seal, like that fate seal that you see the purple one and you hit her, you get like a bunch of fury buffs. So yeah, it's a pretty cool fight. Um, Very, very, very like geared towards cosmic characters because they gain the superiority uh, mechanic. So yeah, it's a pretty fun time. Um... I'm not the best at fighting the Scarlet Witch though. I mean, her animations kind of throw me off because like her SP1 is like very annoying and the SP2, it, it's fun to dex, but if you like miss the dex, you're just like completely binned, right? So yeah, I get the dex there, fortunately. And yeah, this fight's just really, really fun. Um, However, she does steal your buffs, right? So it can get very, very nasty at times. Like she can have like 12 Furies and you take like one block to it and it's like 
a quarter of your health. It's insane. Um, you're gonna see like that happen to me actually like uh, later on in the fight. She also goes unblockable from time to time, and that's also very annoying, especially like on the SP2. Yeah, it can be a, a very rough time. But besides that, it's just a very fun time overall. Like there's nothing too bad about this fight. Um, it's really like it's one of those fights where like it's not too bad on paper, and like the node helps you even. And it's SP2. Very, very clean. We got a lot of bleeds in there. Um, In this fight, I put on deep wounds because I just want to see like, the difference. And it is quite a big difference. I honestly feel bad that I didn't uh, put on deep wounds for like the majority of this video. But to be fair, she like finished off fights in 1SP2 anyway. So like, well, it didn't even matter, right? Uh, But yeah, this fight is going very, very well so far. Um, We're just... We're almost, we're almost there. Here I kind of mess up though, like I take a lot of block hits when she had like 12 Furies and that just like is not a fun time. Here she has 7 Furies and I think I take a block hit soon. I go for my SP1 there and I was trying to get a double medium in and she just wouldn't play ball. And now look at that, look at that block damage man, it's just absolutely absurd. And I was like, oh man, am I, am I like gonna die here? Um, spoiler alert, I do not. I get the solo thankfully and yeah, it's just a pretty fun time. This fight, I think I used Red Goblin originally, and it was pretty fun. I think Medusa is a bit slower overall than Red Goblin, but that was still a pretty nice time. I think that was like 216, and yeah, pretty good overall. Now we have this Nimrod, and Nimrod, of course, is like the the ultimate robot, right? And he's also super annoying because he just like reduces armor up uh, potency, I mean armor break potency, and that's just like incredibly annoying, right? It's like, what's the point of him being a tech character then? Because like that's their weakness, right? But no, Nimrod just doesn't care. I mean, it makes sense. He is like the most important sentinel, so I guess it makes sense that he like just is hard to counter, but yeah. Um, there we have the armor shatter on, so I'm just gonna like fast forward a little bit because this fight is quite um, quite weird. And you can see there I got hit like a lot, <laughs> but that, that's not important right now. What's important is we, we're just, we're in this fight, right? Uh, also there's a node where he gets increased ability accuracy, but the fun part is he still gets power lock. So it's like, what's the point? You're still gonna get power locked, right? So there's no really, there's no reason to like have that node because he can't do anything if he doesn't throw special attacks, right? But yeah, um, we are just, we are just going, we're just like going ham right now. We're just like, you know, but then I, I realized something. I realized like just heavy spam and that just, <laughs> that saves so much stress. Like there's no worry about intercepting. There's no worry about like him just being passive. This is just, this is the way to go. This is the way to go right here. Just heavy spamming. It's such a fun time. And it's just like, there's no stress at all to it, man. So yeah, heavy spam on Medusa, if like they're a robot, that's what I would do. And I took so many robots like today in the showcase and I didn't do this except for this one fight. And I was like, why didn't I do this before? And it's just like, I didn't realize it, I guess. But yeah, that's just a very fun thing to do. Um, her heavy attack is so clean and the animation is so good. And yeah, he's almost down here. I'm gonna go to SP2, drop that, and then that'll be the end of this fight. And it'll be the end of the showcase as well. So yeah, like I said, Medusa, very fun champion. Not the top of her class, of course, not like, not these days anyway, but she's still a very, very fun champion overall. And I really like the character. Her animations are great. I love just like everything about her, man. She's just such a fun champion. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Medusa. Um, Me personally, I'm a big fan of the character. And let me know your thoughts on the series as well, because I want to see if like y'all are interested in like me continuing the series. I can do like Red Guardian. I could do um Void even, just like the, the old gems of the Balrom, right? And uh, yeah, it's about it for me.